Hello everybody, welcome to this Norns AI review. Today in this video, I'm going to be telling you everything that you need to know about Norns. As always, before the video starts, if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. And as well as that, I'll be leaving a discounted link in the description so that you can always get your money's worth for Norns. So Norns is a website where you can input different inputs as you can see on the left here. And what it allows you to do is generate AI generated icebreaker questions for your emails and your clients. So I'm going to be going through each one of these. It's a very, very simple website, so this won't take long at all, but I'm going to be taking through each input um, option. We're going to be taking through the settings up here along with history. So let's get started. So very simply, we can begin with the prospect website. So if I go ahead and enter google.com by hitting get results, it will take a few seconds to process everything that we've got. It will look for things related to Google and once it's done the page will refresh as you can see using this pink bar at the top here and once it's done it will give us some ai generated icebreaker questions so as you can see here it is i use google every day and i'm really impressed by how much they've been able to do and if i do like this i can go ahead and hit this copy button but if i want to export it i can hit this if i want to generate an api call this button here but if i want to generate more and i'm not happy with the one that i've currently got i hit generate more or i can select a completely new new website input by this button here. Now this is very very similar for basically all of them. I'm going to show you one more example which would be Twitter and if I put Google into the Twitter one this will also take a few seconds to process as you can see please wait a few seconds to get results and we've got this one here it says the new Google Pixel 7 is a great phone for anybody who wants a beautiful and authentic representation of their skin tone so on and so forth and if this is something that you like you can yet again hit the copy button and paste that into your email. Now the same can be said for all of the other ones. We obviously have input business email here, where what this allows you to do is input an email of the person that you want to get a uh, icebreaker for, and say it's linked with a certain company, say you wanted or had the email of somebody from Google, say it was johnsmith at google.com, this would use that domain of google.com to find stuff about that company and use that as an icebreaker. I'm also going to go ahead and look at the data set. You do have the option to do this. Um, it does have stars over it because it's a premium feature, but you can upload data sets simply by uploading the file in any of these formats up to a megabyte. Um, and the mandatory field, it says you will need a business email in the data set, along with integrations as well with make.com, where there'll be thousands and thousands of apps that you can use. All you need to do is get access and also generate an API key to then put into your code and integrate it and automate it. It's really, really great. Um, you can also read about how to set it up right here as well. You are also able to do LinkedIn profiles. You just need to input the profile URL here. And you also have the same options with these two as you had on the previous three. And then obviously going on to the prospect company's name. This will scavenge the internet for any information that they've got um, with, with that name in it. So if you had a name of a company, but you didn't really quite know what it was about, you just put the name in here and it would create your own icebreakers based on that company's work. And that is about it for all of the things that you can do to generate icebreakers. At the bottom, you also have a support tab. As you can see, they'll typically reply in a few minutes, but you can write your message here. That's completely free live chat. Um, you also have a workflow and a history tab. We've already been under workflow, but under history, this allows you to view everything that you've done so far. As you can see, I did a few before, but this has basically allowed me to look at the idea of the workflow, uh, the size, state, credits, and time. So how long it took to find that. As you can see, one took 10 seconds, but that was a little bit longer. Um, but we've also got the creator that day and also the workflow itself. So really, really useful. You can also view the actual icebreakers that you've got. You can export or download it. You can also refresh or delete. Very, very handy. And then also going up to the notification panel at the top, this allows us to view all of our notifications and then the profile has three things. Here we have plans, settings and sign out. Now under settings we've got only the access key, um, as you can see no keys were found, you need to generate one first, but you simply go to the at integrations button and when you've gone back to your original page here and gone to integrations and get the API key and paste it in there. And that about concludes Norns. So Norns is a very, very simplistic website, as you know. Didn't take long to explain it, but I really, really do like it for one particular reason. And it's the way that if you do not know what the company is about, then being able to simply input that name of the company and get information about it, I think is really, really great and really, really helpful. So I would definitely recommend this to, you know, anyone looking for icebreakers who will find it hard to, you know, bring up something in conversation or something like that. This is really professional, really, really great 
really, really easy, and best of all, it is free. But thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.